Here at Team Triple Jump, we rather enjoy the company of human beings, but after a while, it can get quite draining. Making small talk, remembering birthdays, and being forced to go to social events because it's expected are just some of the reasons why hanging out with people is the pits. But you know who doesn't mind sitting in comfortable silence and won't be upset if you don't go to their bar mitzvah? Robots! And it's for that reason that they're better than humans. For today's list, then, we've explored the archives of gaming history to bring you the robots that are, in our opinion at least, the coolest cats and kittens around. But what makes a robot cool? Well, that's entirely subjective, but to us, it's a combination of interesting design, impressive abilities, and endearing personality. For clarity, both robots and androids are welcome on this list, but cyborgs are not, as they're technically something entirely different, I think you'll find. Finally, we'll be delving into major plot points for the games you currently see listed on screen, so a spoiler warning is very much in effect for these. I'm the flesh-covered automaton that's just doing what it's told to, Peter from Triple Jump, and here are the 10 coolest video game robots. Number 10. Bastion, the Overwatch series. Picture the scene. The starting countdown has hit zero, and you and your teammates have left the spawn and instantly obliterated the opposition. You round the corner to capture the point, and BAM! Decimated by a camping bastion. You spend the entire match getting mowed down by a hail of bullets, and they get play of the game. Indeed, Bastion is a frustrating adversary, but he's also one incredibly cool dude, especially when he's on your side. Originally, Bastion units were created as peacekeepers, but during the Omnic Crisis, they turned against their human creators. The Bastion we meet in Overwatch was once part of this uprising, but fell whilst on a mission to attack Stuttgart. He was left in the Black Forest for the better part of a decade, and only reactivated when Ganymede began building a nest on him. Torn between his primary directive and his peaceful nature, Bastion ultimately chooses the friendship of his feathered pal. Outside of combat, Bastion is a gentle nature-loving soul, but on the field of battle, he's a force to be reckoned with, and what he lacks in mobility, he more than makes up for in damage output. Oh, and if you hear this noise… <laughs> Run for your gosh darned life. Number 9. Aegis, Shin Megami Tensei, Persona 3. To say that Persona 3 has a great cast of characters is something of an understatement, because each and every character is brilliant in their own way. With that said, it's the robot Aegis that sticks in most players' memories, as she is truly an unforgettable addition to the gang. Persona 3 sees players jumping into the shoes of a high school student and joining the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. This group of students spend their time investigating the Dark Hour, a period of time between two days, where the player character can enter Tartarus and fight creatures called shadows that feast on human minds. When players first meet Aegis whilst the party is on vacation, she's nothing more than an android built to destroy shadows. However, after joining the group and spending time around people, she slowly becomes more and more human, to the point where she begins to question what she wants out of life. When up against an adversary, Aegis is one badass mother flipper. But it isn't her combat manoeuvres that make her cool, rather her mysterious past and development from mere machine to something almost human. The sick fighting skills definitely help, though. Number 8. Legion, the Mass Effect series. Being a sci-fi series, it's really not all that surprising that Mass Effect has more than its fair share of robots. But of all the mechanical personages in BioWare's space opera, the coolest is undoubtedly Legion. This bipedal geth unit first appears in Mass Effect 2, where it's acquired by Shepard following a visit to a derelict Reaper. Upon reactivation, Shepard must gain its loyalty by embarking on a mission that takes them to a heretic geth station, where they must choose whether to destroy the heretics or reprogram them. 
Throughout the Mass Effect games, the Geth are the bad guys, so it's interesting to end up with one of them on your side. Legion provides the player with the opportunity to gain knowledge about the origins of the Geth, and shows them a side to the species that they hadn't seen previously. Thanks to Legion, the player is able to understand that the Geth only became hostile after their masters attempted to exterminate them, and all they truly want is to survive. Without Legion, Shepard couldn't possibly have hoped to fully understand the nature of the war, and assuming they make the right choices, potentially save the Geth. And that makes Legion one mighty cool dude. Number 7. Pascal, Neo Automata. If you've played Neo Automata, you'll know that there's an awful lot of conflict within the game. Set thousands and thousands of years in the future, Neo Automata tells the story of a proxy war between alien machines and human-created androids through the eyes of robots 2B, 9S, and A2. Now, don't get us wrong, the trio of protagonists are all cool in their own ways, but not one of them comes close to the brilliance of Pascal. Although Pascal is an alien machine, he's actually a pacifist, and does everything in his power to avoid fighting, constantly striving for peace alongside other like-minded beings. That isn't to say that Pascal isn't an accomplished fighter, though. During Route C, the player takes control of the peace-loving robot, and he sets aside his pacifist ways, hijacks a Goliath-class Engels unit, and obliterates waves of machines. Considering he's not only an advocate for a peaceful end to the war, but can also kick some serious bottom if necessary, it does make us a little sad that he gets such a rough ending. We won't spoil it for you, but we will just say that Pascal deserved better. Much, much better. Number 6. Atlas and Peabody – Portal 2 As we mentioned in the intro, hanging out with people isn't always great, but just occasionally, getting together with other humans means you're able to meet cool new robots, as is the case when playing Portal 2 with a friend. Now, don't get us wrong, both GLaDOS and Wheatley are hugely entertaining AI computer systems themselves, but we feel they're more evil than cool. Therefore, when it comes to our favourite Portal robots, we think that Atlas and Peabody, the mechanical duo from Portal 2's multiplayer mode, really take the cake. Designed by GLaDOS, this pair of bipedal machines are forced to complete the Aperture Science Enrichment Center's cooperative testing initiative, something that's never been done by humans because we apparently apparently lack the ability to work together. Pfft. Yeah, right. Have you seen me and Ashton defusing bombs on stream? Oh! <laughs> Did you just come on? <laughs> we had, like, one second. Each is armed with an Aperture Science handheld portal device, and they must work together in order to escape from each of the test chambers. Despite never saying a word, well, not in English anyway, Atlas and Peabody have their own distinct personalities. Atlas is brave and fearless, whilst Peabody is more sensitive and inquisitive. The two are endlessly endearing, overcoming everything that GLaDOS throws at them. And above all, they remain loyal to one another throughout. And that that, my friends, is the coolest quality of them all. Aww. Number 5. Nick Valentine, Fallout 4 some of you might disagree that Nick Valentine is the coolest robot in Bethesda's post-apocalyptic series, but it's our list. Go make your own if you want. Prior to the fall of the bombs, Nick Valentine was a police detective working in Chicago, and while seeking treatment for PTSD, his brain was scanned, which later allowed the Institute to implant his pre-war memories into a synthetic body. By the time players meet Nick in Fallout 4, the robot has set up his own private detective detective agency in Diamond City, which is pretty rad just in and of itself. He's hired by the sole survivor to help locate their son, Sean. No, not that one. Sean! And later offers his services as his companion. Not only is he a competent PI, but he's also incredibly handy if you've got terminals to hack, and maximizing your relationship with him grants some pretty cool hacking perks. What makes Valentine cool, though, is the fact that he's basically every film noir detective stereotype rolled up into one big mechanical package. Trench coat and fedora? Check. Thick Chicago accent? Check. No-nonsense approach to everything he does? Oh, you bet your bottom dollar, sweet cheeks. Number 4. Clank, the Ratchet and Clank series. 
Some video game characters operate just fine as a lone unit, but there are others that would be nothing without their counterparts. What would Bub be without Bob, Banjo without Kazooie, or indeed Ratchet without Clank? First introduced in 2002's Ratchet and Clank, Clank meets Ratchet after discovering that the evil Chairman Drek intends to create a brand new planet by destroying all of the others. Desperate to stop the villainous git, Clank convinces Ratchet to join forces with him, and the duo set out on a mission to secure the help of famous hero Captain Quark. Not only is Clank highly intellectual, often serving as the pair's voice of reason, but he's also got a ton of cool skills and gadgets. He can communicate with machines, which allows him to command other robots, and has access to tools like the helipack, which grants him and Ratchet the power of flight. What's more is he's able to use an Ultra Mech Pad in order to transform into Giant Clank, a huge fighting machine. With so many fantastic abilities, and not to mention the fact that he's cute as a button, it makes us wonder why Clank needs Ratchet at all. I suppose he just likes his big ears or something. I do. Number 3. Mega Man – The Mega Man Series you don't end up with your very own long-running video game series without being at least a little bit cool, and the fact that Mega Man has been around since before all of us at Team Triple Jump were born is enough to earn him a spot on this list by itself. There's far more to Mega Man than just being quite old, though. The anthropomorphic android made his first appearance in 1987's Mega Man, where he could be found kicking robot butt and taking names. Invented by renowned robot designer Dr. Light, Mega Man is transformed from a helper to a fighter after Dr. Wily reprograms the robot masters for criminal purposes. Since then, Mega Man has appeared in over 50 different games, spanning pretty much every system from the NES to the PlayStation 4. Despite having been in the business for the better part of 40 years though, and never really changing much appearance-wise, Mega Man constantly keeps fans guessing when it comes to his powers, which vary from game to game. Whether 2D platforming is your thing or not, it's hard to deny that Mega Man is an instantly recognisable icon and is well deserving of his place amongst the very coolest video game robots. Number 2. Claptrap – The Borderlands Series now, let me be clear here, we don't necessarily think that the Borderlands series Claptrap is particularly cool, but you know darn well that he does. This overly confident, one-wheeled loudmouth is first introduced in 2009's Borderlands, where he greets the Vault Hunters as they disembark the bus. He later introduces them to Dr. Zed, takes them to Firestone, and serves as a sort of notification system. In Borderlands 2, it transpires that Handsome Jack has had all of the other CL4PTP units deactivated, leaving Claptrap the last active robot of his kind. Not one to take such things lying down, Claptrap swears revenge, though since he has no combat abilities and can't even climb stairs, he's forced to enlist the help of the Vault Hunters. It's easy to see why many players, and the series' other characters, find Claptrap annoying. After all, he thinks he's better than everyone else, he never shuts up, and his voice is like nails on a chalkboard. With all of that said though, Claptrap is a huge personality, and an instantly recognisable icon. Honestly, as irritating as he is, it just wouldn't be Borderlands without him. And that, ladies, gentlemen, and others, is enough to convince us that he is, in fact, quite cool, we have to admit. And number 1, HK-47 – Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic It seems like Star Wars fans simply can't get enough of sassy robots. The original trilogy had R2-D2, the little blue pedal bin who exuded attitude without ever saying a single word, Rogue One had the wonderfully snarky K2SO, and several of the other Star Wars video games have had the endlessly sardonic HK-47. Players first meet HK-47 in 2003's Knights of the Old Republic, where it's revealed that he was created by the Sith Lord Darth Revan. One of the first things that players will notice when speaking to the droid is just how entertaining he is, seemingly without meaning to be. He refers to humans as meat bags and precedes every sentence with a word that qualifies the nature of what he's about to say, which makes for some hilarious interactions. Commentary. 
Shall we find something to kill to cheer ourselves up? Since KOTOR, HK47 has showed up in a whole bunch of Star Wars games, including KOTOR 2, where players find out who is used by Revan to kill those who destabilised or weakened the galaxy, The Old Republic, where he turns up as a boss battle, and as an unlockable character in mobile game Galaxy of Heroes. So for being nothing short of the sassiest droid in this galaxy as well as in those far, far away, we dub the HK47 Video Gaming's Coolest Robot. Query, are you satisfied now? Objection. Oh, fine, laugh at me, master. Humiliate your pet droid. Go ahead.